for today's video we're going to be shooting the 160 grain round nose 264 bullets out of a 6.5 Creedmoor first two shots will be lower velocity simulating longer range then I'll flip the blocks and shoot a higher velocity load Well, we're definitely not capturing that lower velocity bullet, but as you can see, that insanely long, heavy bullet definitely stabilized perfectly and went through both gel blocks, creating decent permanent wound cavity. I will have to shoot some more of these in the day when I have more gel and can try to capture them because I'd really like to see what that bullet looked like because it looks like it started expanding at approximately one and five eighths giving its better portion of that permanent wound cavity carrying to about 14 and three eighths where it tapers down with a little less permanent wound cavity but carries it all the way through both blocks at 31 and a quarter inches the largest portion of that permanent wound cavity is an inch and seven eighths and in the second block where it's not not quite as aggressive permanent wound cavity you still have About an inch and an eighth. So overall at that lower velocity it does not look bad in the gel box. That is 1,605 feet per second. Peek here quick. So what we're looking for is yes we have tears going in multiple directions. That bullet opened up a little bit to cause that permanent wound cavity. Go ahead and flip these. Right. And with that one, you got it opening up almost instantaneously, carrying that better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the 3 8 of an inch mark to just past the 11 inch mark where it tapers down, still carrying somewhat decent permanent wound cavity to the 14 inch mark. Leading edge of that bullet is 20 and three quarter inches. And we got pretty decent mushroom on that high velocity. That larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is four and three quarter inches. That one's impact velocity was roughly 2,500. So 2,517 feet per second. 
overall I'm gonna go ahead and flip these blocks again and shoot some I have a little bit hotter loaded than that low velocity to see if we can get that to open up a little bit better as that would definitely um, have overall good stopping power I don't think I would run them quite that low velocity And as you can see, that one definitely opened up and we caught it. So, let's get our tape measure back out here. That opened up really good there. And by a, approximately an inch it's starting to open, the better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the inch and three eighths. Carrying to past the 12 inch mark, but then it starts to taper down, carrying decent permanent wound cavity almost to the 15 inch mark. And the leading edge of that bullet is exactly 23 inches. That larger portion of that permanent wound cavity is 3 inches. Looking at it the other direction, well, just a freckle over three inches. I'm thinking that would make an excellent uh, heavier brush bullet, but still out to a couple hundred yard gun uh, on most big game in North America. That would do a pretty excellent job. Pretty much turning your 6.5 Creedmoor into a 30-30. That one was going 1,823 feet per second. Wasn't sure what to personally expect with these, but they did a good enough job. I might be loading these up for brush bullets in one of my Creedmoors. Hope you guys enjoy the video.